Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. This is the part two of Python datetime module. In this session, we will be explore how we can use time delta, strf time and strp time. To watch this session, I will recommend to watch the part one of the datetime module. Okay, in that session, we have covered lots of property of method for the datetime module, right? So now for this session, let me go to the Jupyter notebook. So first of all, we need to import the library for the datetime. Right, so simple import and date time. And from this date time, I want to import the some specific property, let's say time delta. So how we can do that? So simple from date time import time delta. Okay. So guys, time delta is the property of the date time module that calculates the duration. Okay. So it's mainly used to calculate the duration between two dates, or you can say that the times. Let me give you an example for calculating the difference. Let's say I'm taking a variable, which is T1 equal to time delta. And here I'm going to write, let's say weeks for an example, two days equal to five hours equal to 11 and minutes equal to eight. The last is second equal to, let's say 43, fine. Now the same variable I'm going to take as a T2, right? So let me copy this. And from here, I'm going to remove, let's say week. Uh, any day, for an example, five, let me change the hours. Okay, for an example, minutes here, the five, the second here, let's say 33. Now, let me print the T1 and print T2. Okay, so guys, you need to remember this function is basically for the calculating the duration of the time. Okay, so for an example, let's say what I'm doing here, print T1 minus T2. So it is giving me a difference for T1 and T2. Okay. So total days, let's say here the 19 and the five. So when I'm going to subtract, so we'll have the 14 days. And the same you can T1 plus T2. Now you can add the days as well, okay? So using the time delta, we can easily calculate the difference for the date or maybe for the time, right? Now let's say if I'm asking a very basic question, let's say this is my date, print once again. This one. So can you add five days into the, into the T1? So if you are thinking, let's say by using this method, so which is not possible, okay? So because what is the T1? Let me show you. So T1 is a date time object, right? In the date time object, directly you cannot add any type of integer value. Let's say T1 plus five. So because this T1, right, this T1 is a date time object and here five is an integer. So this is not possible to add the value into the T1. So you will have an error. But now I am saying how you can add five days. So using the time delta, you can add the days as well. Simple print T1 plus, which is time delta. And here you can supply the days. Very simple. Okay. Now, another question based on the time delta. How you can calculate the total completed days for the Republic Day of the India? Let's say I am taking a variable I Republic Day equal to, let's say, date time dot date. First of all, we need to mention here the particular year, which is 1950. First of first month and 26th of the date. Now I am going to print Republic Day. Okay. Now how you can print the two day date? So there are two ways. So simple you can use print date and time dot date time dot today. Then you will have the date and time both. But in case you want to only the date, simple parent 
date time dot date dot today okay now i am going to calculate the completed days for the republic day okay so let's say total days equal to date time dot day dot today right minus republic day now print total days total days right 25,897 days okay so you need to remember using the time delta right using the time delta you can calculate the duration of the time and for the date as well okay now i am moving to the python strf time very important function so guys strm strm time means string formatter okay this will format a date time object to a string format okay only these thing you need to remember using the strf time you can format only the date time object that's it okay so let me give you an example so let's say first of all i am going to print let's say current date and time so date time dot date time and now let me print the t okay now i am giving you n number of example based on the str of time okay so simple print current date and time we can easily get using the t okay now print new format for the date date and time so here i am using t dot strf time okay and here you need to mention your time string format or you can say that date string format okay so let me show you first so for an example you can switch here https this one okay so i am going to redirect on strf time dot org so these are the date and format string and these are the code and their meanings and their example okay so from this code i will transform our date and time okay now so strf time here you need to you can define your string formatter right let's say i want y i want m i want percent d let me change percent d and percent h sorry percent h right in here hyphen percent m okay so let me run this okay so we are getting this is the year this is the month and today date and today current time in the 24 hours format okay so once again let me copy this so let's say print current year how you can get the current year so simple you can use capital y right then you will have the current year print month of year simple you can print this one and here you can use capital b now print week number of the year okay so how we can get the week number so simple we can use here let's say w then you will have this one now print week day of the week so simple we can get t dot same let me print this and small w okay based on the string format you can transform or you can get any of the date and time components right let's say day of the year for an example day of the year let's say day of the year t dot strf time and here i can use j or oh, 356 okay for a, for an example in case you want to extract the day of the month right so print t dot strf time 
st rf time and here you can use percent d right and now for an example in case you want to extract to the to the date only the day right so you can use the capital a it means day of the week okay day of the week means today we have monday fine so we can extract this type of things okay now so guys in the last video of the python date time module part 1 i told you that date time and time modules support strf time method and strf methods fine and both method are used for the date time operations okay so strp time is for the passing date time from the string okay it means this method creates a date date time object from a string whereas strf time is for the formatting date time from the date time object so this is the difference between these two okay so based on example i am telling you how you can differentiate so let's say date is string now here i am going to define let's say 25th of december and 2020 okay so when you check the type of date string then you will have this is the string this is string you cannot transform with the help of strf time why because strf time supports only the date time object and this is the string object right so using the strp time you can transform this particular string into the date components how let's say format date a string equal to date time dot date time and you can use strp time and here you can use date string date string and here you can define let's say percent d and here percent let's say capital b and after that we mention here the comma then i am also mentioning the comma here and capital y for the entire year this one now let me print format a string okay so we can easily transform the our date into the specific format okay so this method will convert a string format to date date time that's it okay now let's take a, another example for the strf time now let's say i am taking now date time date time now right now when i am going to print type of now it will give you the date time object fine how you can get the year so simple year date uh, let's say now dot strf time and here i can use capital y and i can print the year right okay so this method return a string date time from the date time object let's say when you check the type of year it is returning the object a string object right okay now see what if when i will supply the string to the strf time eventually strf time only support the date time object but for an example let's say print date of our string and this is the type of date of string which is the string right this one now the same same string i'm going to pass to the strf time let's say date time dot date time dot strf time and let's say date a string and here i want let's say percent d right percent b and percent y so can you guess what would be the answer i already mentioned strf time can handle only the date time object but here i am going to supply this string so which is not possible okay then you will have a error because strf time does not support the string okay so let me run this see strf time this is date time dot object does not apply on this string object okay so these thing you need to remember okay only this method 
convert daytime object into this thing. Now, what if when I will sup I will supply the input daytime object to the SDRP time? Let's say print now, right? Now, when you check the type of now, this is the daytime object, right? Now, daytime dot daytime strp time and here i am going to extract only the y this one so can you guess what will be the answer okay okay so you need to remember strp time only support the string it will not support the your daytime object strp time strp time right argument must be a string not a daytime object these things you need to remember while you are working on strp time and strf time okay so simple i am going to mention here for the strf time it can handle only the daytime object and strp time it can handle only the string object for the daytime right so guys i hope you understood lots of thing in this session we have seen how we can use the time delta we have seen how we can transform the date and a string based on the strp time and strf time most of the time this question asked by the interviewer okay so you need to remember so guys keep practicing and learning thanks for watching and have a great day